Well, hello! Shaky beginning here, wow. Anyways, we're here. In Starmade once again. And here is a fleet that is King of Anime. Fleet Submission 1. Indeed, this is some real cool thing. The King of Anime, anime this guy is called. And the name the name of this man makes him makes me like him right away. This is awesome. The king of anime's fleet submission. This is one of the crazy ones, I'd say. Um you see, it's a really, really, really unusual building style. I haven't seen this. And when I just see this, you know when I just see this straight on, my first thought is Gamelas. The Gamelas from Space Yamashit Yamash. God damn it. The Gamelas people from Spaceship Yamato or Star Blazers. Um, my second thought is some pra crazy person with a. I don't know. That are growing plants. My third thought is like insects. Um. And it's weird, and it's cool. And what to say? We, we need to... I wonder... I guess this is shield-focused stuff with glass and hull, basically? Or something? We should be checking this one out first, though. Okay, involuntarily. Um, yeah. I, I had a cold a while ago, that's why I muted myself. Anyways, um, here is the. Um, like, as the other reviews, I don't have the class list uh, in here. But, well, this is probably the shuttle thing. We have some gravity going around. We can sit down and chillax here. Environmental friendly flora reactor. <laughs> That's so cute. So this is the environmental friendly space fairing. Radar jammer, we have faction module, plant powered shuttle. It's plant powered? Oh my god. Now this is a kind of cool way to make a seat, but it's completely useless because the ship core is behind the seat. So there's no way you can sit in the seat when you get in there. There's my First critics, um, well, it will be easy soon to get the ship core, move it around. Um, my recommendation would be put the ship core here uh, on top, so you could have it in the back. Then you get also the nice seat view, and you don't have to have a camera there. Uh, yeah, because the core view is, you know, I have ships with terrible core views too. I didn't say that, but you know, the core view is terrible. All right. We have two dockers. Um, do we have USD on both sides? Yep. Okay, I see. Oh, not so far. That's yeah. Never mind. This is a. F this is this is a ship powered by plants, and this thing can do nothing except going around stuff. Uh, it has a. Middle range top speed, not awesome. Completely okay. Except for looking cool, you know. It's kind of... <laughs> this uh, environmental friendly thing with biospheres and everything is really cool. Okay, let's go over to the next ship here. I think we just do like this. Navigation filter, turn on the docked stuff. go directly into this one. Now what is, the, oh, here's the duct thing. I'll sheet a bit, I just remove the block that's attaching us, you know, the docker. Um, so we have a um, USD dock essentially in the S. I have no idea how to dock uh, that, but it's a good way to hide it around. 
Uh, we have some really cool biosphere design on this one too. Wedging properly done, as one would expect. You can go around and it's the plant powered cargo ship. So this is the cargo ship. Um, and we have the flora energy reactor here. So we have some, you know, mushrooms growing and here is supposedly some... Oh, this is a transporter. Maybe it's just looking cool. A little med bay, a little commons mess hall or something. We have a probably, uh, you know, crew quarters. And oh, we're back in the core here. So these look strange with the wiring behind them. It's a really interesting design. This is the cargo ship. And here we also have the cargo modules going into this big sphere here. Very much space could totally haul <coughs> a lot more of cargo than it actually does. Oh, and here we have the actual transporter. Two of them actually. And a nice big cargo entrance, which is nice. I totally like this one. Max speed 137. Oh, again, mid range, okay. You know. So there we have the cargo hauler. We don't need it menu all the time. Looking cool. I really like the concept of this, um, you know, shuttle, this, you know, faction. Um, and I'm really glad that also the Starmate dev did also think it was cool and didn't just, no, we only want standard ships. Actually, you know, real cool. They also, you know, want to have these awesome. Um, a little bit unusual factions that I think maybe some game developers would just straight out refuse to, you know, accept it. Now, what do we have here? Um, we have a USD on, should we guess, both sides? Yep. There's the and the engine looks a bit cartoonish in a way. It's really like a flower or cartoonish. It's hard to explain. Well, it's uh, plant powered, I guess. And here we have some earth sticking out, and yeah, it's so, it's so fun. And also this uh, combined door here, patchworky. Ooh, nice hovering table. I dig it. You can't sit her though, which is unfortunate because that's how it works, but... Environmental friendly flora reactor. I love the reactor. I'm curious, is there anything under the reactor? No, it's just put on... No, there is actually the energy here. Sticking up. Oh, well, two blocks. Yep. Um, here's the core. The USDs are here and here. That, and we can go backwards and ship to the back where we have a trip no a double transporter room here another little interesting maybe cooking place four banks uh, and a cargo system in the place where you know one would expect it to be more engine but it's actually a little cargo space in here instead and the engine is here. But I really, I really dig this extroverted engine with the blades at the side. It looks really fancy. I dig it. It's really cool. I think this is one of my, one of my favorite fleet submissions that I looked on so far, which is not very many. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, it's still it's still very cool. Did I miss some text now? Okay. Passenger ship. Passenger ship? Okay. This is the passenger ship. Which is interesting. We have the throne here. <laughs> Looks like a throne. So... 
Is this maybe a leisure ride or... Because it's only four people. Oh well, it's still the passenger ship. Um, so this one too has... Jump drives, scanners, you know. Jump drive, ooh! All right, now we're talking. It's a decent jump drive, which is very rare that you actually see, unfortunately, on many uh, ships people build. Um, most battleships have horrible jump drives, but as this is a passenger ship, this is, has kind of fast jump drives. I just realized I didn't check this one's jump drives. And here is where we expect kind of slowish, sluggish jump drives. So, the passenger ship, as they put it, I would call this um, a jump ship. Rather. Rather a jump ship. Really nice jump right there. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Let's turn this off here. And here we have something with some actual weapons. Um, and here we do have a, indeed, you know, you can't see it, but it's a rather beefy turret. Okay, we need to turn it, get it back. And we have, you know, we try to get in here. And we can lift like this. Um, like this one. Whoosh. Looks at the systems. EMP. So it's a long range beam with EMP. So it's basically a sniper beam that's supposed to drain the enemy's energy. However, the King of Anime's ships do have rather good shields, it seems. Well, I do really like this turret design. It's so, you know straightforward you can aim it straight upwards but it's still you know the classical turret where it ends it doesn't have any uh, downward elevation at all it's like complete stop here which is cool in a way i should actually build a couple of turrets that end their elevation in like 90 degrees like this it's kind of cool um to do that see that the core is here ah this is so smart you see so here we have the third axis so basically what we do is we lift it from all forward and it's basically connected in the back where it has a little bit of mo movable, uh, maneuverability well it is an interesting way to build a turret well, we shouldn't look at the turret all day. Let's get into this thing. So, where do we get in? We get in here. We have the USD rail to the right. Uh, correctly set up there. We we'll looked at the fleet submission before where it wasn't correctly set up. Hopefully they have been able to fix this at the, to this point. Okay, a transporter room. Another USD. We have six people, uh, sleeping spaces, plant-powered border patrol ship. So this is for border patrolling, uh, and this needs um, two flora energy reactor things because it's so big. And here we have a little no. So it's a storage or we're in astronaut maybe I don't remember Ooh, we can't sit here so sad I like the energy course at least okay, let's just check the front room so there is the command bridge thing here but the actual core is not here that's 
strange, but you know, many do that. The entries have written there or whatever. So we just disconnect and roll out of here. Well, this is a rather big ship. It kind of looks a bit antish with this head here. Oh, no. Oh shit, we're totally stuck and messing everything up. Okay, okay. Well, we need to switch to camera. Here we have the camera. Um, well, half sluggish jump drives, kind of slow. Uh, scanners, we have a damage beam computer with EMP. So it seems to be a little theme of this. Uh, with EMP, you know, EMP beam weapons. And while this um, actually packs some punch, 800 size total, this one. So we could take out this one's shields, which are 64k. Uh, now it's reloaded again. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. We will paint a little bit like this, as you do with beams, you know, to simulate the effect when a ship uh, kind of are not still when you fire at them, you know. Deep penetration. I'd say it's a pretty decent weapon system, also considering that it uh, renders your enemy's uh, power useless. So it packs uh, more punch than you would expect, maybe. Or actually, it's a kind of big ship. But it's also very much air in it. And we also have the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, yeah, of course. 8 turrets with uh, beams. No anti-missile systems, though, which is a bit strange. Well, I do like it. So, next submission, N not submission, next ship would be, no, I totally lost it, where is it, here, oh, I guess this one, jump into this one, so when you get into the ship, um, where do you get into the ship? You know, it's a very nice design where all of the ships kind of look very uh, similar, but different anyways. Wait. Passenger ship? Didn't we already look at this? I'm sorry. I thought it was, an, uh, you know. It wasn't, it was, you know, docked, so I totally forgot we haven't looked at that one. Or we have looked at it. And this one was the cargo ship, yeah. So it's only one left, which is the ship beside it. Let's see if we can get the hood here. Ah. Here we have it. And this is looks like a heavier ship. You know. Dock, undock from here. EMP effect. Something is affecting power damage protection. So we have much power damage protection on this one. These tubes look like test tubes, which is really interesting. And we have some earth and the plants in it. And then we have, you know, tentacle things growing out from the back, flowing along with space and the almost cartoon-like engine. USD out here. 
and when you get in here you get directly into the plants of different um, <laughs> environments and mushrooms and moving to the real uh, to the first really protected door to a little room where you can beam people which is identical on both sides so what do we have here we actually have maybe toilet things maybe shower probably maybe bathtub or something no, sink. This must be a sink, maybe. Crew quarters. So we have 12 people so far. 18. We have a little room of cargo going up here. We have the core room leading directly out to the command bridge with lots of seats. Actually, This is a wide room. Strange lighting too, it looks kind of, I don't know, a bit unsettling, kind of ish tropical, but yellow light and green like this. I kind of like it, I kind of don't like it. I kind of love that it exists, but I wouldn't want to be in here for too long, if that makes any sense. Okay, and we just like look at med bay. Oh, we have a med bay on this one, and a little. Oh, this is probably the dining commons hall. You can get get up to the top floor with energy core one, energy core two, and also a nice little garden where you can hang around. Did I miss something? Oh, here seems to be another little bunk. Alright. The command bridge is kind of cool though. We should read the sign. What is this? What is this for a ship? Plant nursery. Farm ship. Okay, so this is a farm ship. Interesting. We even have some cool glowing things on the other side. Well, it kind of makes sense. This is the farming ship. I guess this ship would provide the other um, crews of food and something, and the shuttle could go between and get food or something. Uh, we only have one war-centered sh war ship, but the systems were satisfyingly good on it. Um, I was almost surprised because they have so little weapons or anything, so... But the ones that were, were nice. Um, okay, jump run. Well, there we have it. King of anime. King of anime. I like you by the name. Uh, and his uh, gamelas insect um, <laughs> environment freak. Or maybe it's kind of reasonable, but anyways. Nice ships. Nice ships. I like him. Some improvements, which I mentioned, but generally, I like him. Well, I'll say Jimonism Total Nerdy Channel. Signing out. See you next time. Subscribe for more content if you want to, or just leave a like. See you.